वेलकम टू आर चैनल व्यूअर्स सो अपेंडिसक्टमी आई मीन दिस इज वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट सर्जरी आर एज एन ट्रेनिंग विल ट्रू एंड आई विल से इट इज वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट लव ऑफ ए सर्जन एंड एवरी सर्जरी ट्रेनिंग विल फील कंटेंटेड आफ्टर डूइंग अपेंडिसक्टमी सो फ्रेंड्स सिंस आई लॉज लॉन्च दिस चैनल आई वॉज प्लानिंग टू डू अ वीडियो ऑन अपेंडिसक्टमी बट सम हाउ थिंग्स गेट लेट so uh, here is my uh, first video on appendicectomy uh, this video has been designed in a way uh, so that surgery training can uh, learn the steps and this will be a complete guide uh, from skin to skin and the videos will be lengthy but i have tried to demonstrate every critical step and i hope uh, this video will benefit the surgery training friends uh, i want to uh, give a disclaimer in the beginning of this video that uh, every surgery training uh, or everybody should uh, uh, attempt every surg- uh, any surgery under the supervision of his uh, uh, seniors or uh, expert surgeons only and uh, information available uh, on the youtube or uh, internet uh, uh, media is for general information only and no decision making should be based on uh, these videos the main highlight of this uh, video will be like uh, it was a subserosal uh, paracolic appendix with accessory appendicular artery of sesagellum and uh, we did appendicectomy through lens or modified uh, macmoney skin crease in season so uh, i hope uh, you will enjoy the content so briefly anatomy uh, appendix is located at the base of cecum where all the three tinea coli uh, merges and this is a constant position uh, however the position of tip of the appendix is variable and the base of the appendix is located approximately 2.5 cm inferior to the ileocecal valve and uh, it is attached to the terminal ileum by fold uh, that is a ligament of tibs and the usual length of appendix is 6 to 12 cm but it can reach up to 16 cm in length and the usual diameter is uh, 0.8 cm that is 8 mm millimeter and it can range from uh, 3 mm to 10 mm so the position of appendix is variable and uh, that, that is tip of the appendix has a different positions uh, and uh, so i am covering the anatomy part very briefly in this video and viewers can refer to the standard medical textbooks and the most common position is intraperitoneal extending towards the pelvic rim the blood supply is the uh, ileal branch of the ileocolic artery that is the end artery and uh, the appendicular blood supply is variable but usually there is single appendicular artery but two or more two or more arteries are also possible and the accessory artery of sesagellum uh, which we encounter in this case will be demonstrated uh, it's a branch of the posterior cecal artery so the peak incidence is uh, usually in the second and third decade of life uh, with the lesser incidence uh, before 4 four years of age and uh, the incidence also decreases uh, after 30 years and the result basically the pathology behind the appendicitis is a result in the obstruction of the appendicular lumen and uh, in young individual there is a abundance of the lymphoid tissue and that leads to lymphoid hyperplasia after minor illness like common cold or cough and in older individual the usual obstruction uh, is caused by the fecalis so as i said the pathology behind the acute appendicitis is because of the uh, obstruction of the lumen that can be because of the lymphoid hyperplasia or the fecalis that leads to the accumulation of mucus and as the uh, mucus accumulate there is an increase in interluminal pressure which uh, leads to the occlusion of the blood and lymph as the blood pressure as the pressure of the intermucosal pressure increases Uh, that uh, is more than the blood and lymph pressure that leads to the necrosis and breakdown of the appendicular mucosal barrier the first mucosa will become, become ischemic and necrotic or the clonic bacteria uh, cause infection and further inflammation and that leads to formation of phlegmen or inflammatory mass eventually if the inflammatory process is ongoing the obstruction persists that can lead to the full thickness necrosis that is gangrenous appendicitis and uh, uh, that may also uh, culminate in the uh, free perforation and spillage of, spillage of bacteria into the interperitoneal spaces leading to the acute peritonitis so the classical presentation of acute appendicitis is 
uh, initially it will begin with vague uh, pain which is usually in the upper uh, stomach or a periblical region and gradually as the time passes by uh, it will get localized to the lower uh, abdomen that is the right iliac fossa and uh, so uh, it is a midgut visceral pain uh, due to distension of the uh, appendicircle uh, lumen uh, th that get localized because of the somatic uh, pain uh, of the irritation of the parietal peritoneum and uh, usually it is associated with anorexia as to defecate nausea diarrhea and fevers so coming to the index case uh, this was a 18 year old girl uh, with no known comorbidity, she presented to us with pain, nausea and vomiting with low grade fever of uh, one day and that, that is the usual uh, story, uh, patient will have pain first followed by nausea and vomiting and usually a low grade fever. There was a tenderness and rebound tenderness in the right alic fossa. Uh, her last menstrual period was 7 days before the onset and the UPT, her urinary pregnancy test was negative. So any child bearing uh, lady uh, should have her uh, pregnancy ruled out because most of the time uh, they can have a uh, most of the time but uh, many times they can have a uh, tubal pregnancy that can mimic uh, acute appendicitis so always rule out the pregnancy her uh, WC count was raised with uh, neutrophilia her albedo score or the mental score was 9 out of 10 send clinical and radiological diagnosis of acute appendicitis uh, friends, uh, we intend to make uh, another video tutorial on the presentation and diagnosis with the brief description of the Alvarado and, and Montel or Montel school in another video. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So this patient was planned for open appendicectomy. I will not get into the debate of open versus lap that we can discuss in some other video and uh, with modified makeover in season or land in season or skin crease in season because that has best cosmetic result patient was kept NPO and uh, 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 we uh, in spine position under spinal anesthesia uh, we started antibi uh, antibiotic uh, PCM IV fluid and sporting major uh, beforehand and under spinal anesthesia and mild station we uh, uh, started this procedure of open appendicitis. So uh, this is the operative video and uh, patient is already uh, under uh, spinal anesthesia and uh, under mild station spine position and uh, we don't give any, uh, don't place any uh, I mean, uh, bolster or uh, any sandbag and uh, patient relates pain. So now we are demonstrating, uh, this is a line from Lycus to the anterior sphere Alex spine. The straight line we draw, so uh, we uh, for the purpose of demonstration and uh, head end is toward the upper part of the screen uh, as written. So uh, if we divide this spinoblical line three parts, so the McBurney point will be uh, the junction of lateral one third and medial two third friends. So uh, friends, uh, so uh, in this picture uh, the classical McBurney incision is uh, exactly the perpendicular line uh, at the make one point and the rocky dives in season will be the transverse line uh, horizontal line uh, which is demonstrated in purple in this uh, picture and the uh, line in green is the midway between the mcvarney and the uh, rocky dives in season that is the lange in season or the crease in season friends uh, this is the uh, one of the best in season especially in the young people or young ladies and it has the best cosmetic result and uh, it won't create any difficulty uh, in the uh, surgery and uh, I have been using this incision in all the patients uh, with good results. So the uh, our incision will be a land incision and usually the two third of the incision is above the, uh, the spinoblical line and uh, one third is below so more incision is above the spinoblical line. So uh, after checking the effect of incisia now we will proceed and uh, friends uh, uh, we have demonstrated all these steps uh, in detail this is a real-time video uh, without any uh, much editing so uh, I hope uh, you will uh, learn from the uh, content so uh, this uh, incision is now given uh, 